Well, the short answer is put your mu put your music everywhere. Um, we were Liz and I were discussing a particular artist that we won't name, whose digital strategy is to kind of drag everyone into their world, right? I think for you for it for my total belief is take what you've got to as many places as you can, syndicate it out to as many places as you can. Um, so if you're if you are you know, for those of you that are recording and want to release music now, if you were to use someone like TuneCore, for instance, tick all the boxes, send it, send it everywhere. And then, you know, you can allow people to discover that where they want in the way that they want to do that. Wherever someone can discover you, go there. Yeah. You literally go everywhere. I mean, SoundCloud's probably more of a, where the industry people might look. Mm. And then, you know, there's certain, but just put it literally, go as far and wide as you can because... Why not? You know, uh, uh, people want to just you just want to be wherever people want to discover new music. I suppose that sounds a bit ran you know, <coughs> random, but that's well, it's the way definitely cover all. But I th but I think maybe more specifically, the key key ones would definitely be SoundCloud that you'll all know about. They have something like um, sixty million registered users. I mean, just just the SoundCloud community is massive, and then when you multiply that by kind of impressions on on tracks that are hosted on SoundCloud through Facebook and all that sort of stuff, it shoots up. And they came out with some mad statistic that something like their reach in the internet is something like 12% of the entire internet has some sort of touch point with SoundCloud. So, I mean, that's massive. And I think that's also quite unique. And I really like that because it's a real, it was born out of creators. It was built for creators. Quite Other thing is blogs love SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. So you're more likely to get blogged about and word spread if you're using that as a place to put the music so whatever's easiest for other people to talk about you wherever they're talking about music as well I, I would say if you're sending stuff to to labels make an effort do you know what I mean like if you get a scraggy old envelope it's a bit like I can normally tell what the CD is going to sound like based on the packaging if it's if there's something laminated in there it's not going to be good it's weird, it's weird, it's kind of, you just get a sense of it, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, there are loads of ways to do it. We go to, we go to a lot of gigs, um, blogs. Blogs are a really major part of finding new music because it does, you know, the question we answered earlier about how you get things going. If you send your music to blogs, they, they kind of do their own A&R. They go, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that, so I'll post it. And we trawl those. Um, and then... Lawyers, a lot of young musicians go to a lawyer and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I've started a band. And agents, you know, I mean, it, it kind of comes from everywhere, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and that's part of my job is trying to sort of stay in touch with as many of those people as possible. And then one day, somebody will go, I've got something. <laughs>